Hi everybody, this is Maya Zahira with Psychic Protection Sanctuary and we are now live in our Psychic Protection Sanctuary Facebook group. It's our free support group online on Facebook. So I just want to give a shout out if you're watching this early on in the video, I want to give a shout out to everybody watching the replay on Facebook and on YouTube and I'm so glad that you're watching this. Welcome. And welcome to everybody who is joining live. Good to see you all here. Um, so while we're waiting for people to join live, I'm going to go through a few announcements and then we will get into our content. So as you may already know, this Facebook Live has two purposes. Number one, to uh, teach you some valuable content and number two, our other purpose in being here is to develop relationships. So that is why I take the time to say hi, do shout outs and everything. So thank you uh, for all of you who are, thank you to all of you who are here live. And thank you for your patience, those of you who are watching the replay as we do uh, some of this relationship building. And I also encourage you, if you're watching the replay, to go ahead and, you know, when I ask a question or ask for feedback, go ahead and share it in the comments as well, uh, because um, uh, interaction, that's, that's what we're here for. So today's topic is spiritual warfare of the mind. Um, I actually was going to call this class the spiritual mind virus. That was actually what I wrote down on my notes. And that was what I was planning on doing today, the spiritual mind virus. But then I looked at it and I said, oh, people are going to see that and they're going to make some assumptions uh, about uh, what I'm not actually talking about. So I do actually call this a mind virus, but I decided to call this video spiritual warfare of the mind so that there wouldn't be any confusion about what I'm talking about. I will get into the distinctions in just a little bit. So again, hi to everybody who's joining live. Can you go ahead and tell us where you're joining from? And um, now I'm going to make a couple of announcements and then we'll get into our content. As always, I always give a lot of material in this, these free Facebook Lives. I know that uh, a lot of people do Facebook Lives differently. I've seen people who just get on and just kind of banter and that's cool too. There's no real content or like maybe a tiny bit. Um, I want you to think of this as a class. This is a free class. so. Uh, if you want to grab a pen and paper and get ready to take some notes, I, I always have notes. That's why I always have to look down. I have a lot that I'm going to cover with you guys. So a um, couple of announcements. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't go over this because there are always a few people watching who need more than what just this free video is offering. And so if you need more, if you need more support or more content or whatever, then I encourage you to go to my website, which is psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. And on there, there's all sorts of resources. There's um, information, <clears throat> excuse me, there's information on how to schedule a session, if that's the direction that you're wanting to go, or if you're wanting to sign up for one of my programs. And right now, I actually have... Uh, more choices than I've ever had before in different price ranges. Just FYI, for those of you who've been following my stuff for a while, um, I actually have a program right now that is $12.99 a month, okay? Um, now, it's not as comprehensive as the more expensive programs, but it's a way to start if you're on a tight budget. And I am going to mention that that program really quick in our announcements and then I'll go on to shout outs and then our content. The $12.99 a month program is Psychic Protection Insiders. It is not a program where you learn how to protect yourself from spiritual warfare. That requires a much more in-depth program. I'm sure that makes logical sense. That would be the Spiritual Empowerment Academy. If you're needing 
like psychic protection help. But the $12.99 a month Psychic Protection Insiders is where we have a Facebook Live just like this every month. But we go into content that's a little bit deeper, uh, fringe, paranormal content, conspiracy stuff, um, that sort of thing. And um, like I think of it as kind of like fun content, uh, kind of like off on a, ta on a side tangent. Um, although some of the things we talk about are quite serious, but we're basically diving down a rabbit hole and tonight's class. So we, we do have a class tonight and we're going to be talking about glitches in the matrix, deja vus, alternate realities, alternate timelines, and all sorts of crazy things. So as you can imagine uh, in that class, I'm not teaching you how to protect yourself. We're covering all sorts of like fringe paranormal topics. Okay, um, and then if you're watching this live right now, oh, my notes don't wanna stay. There we go. If you're watching this live right now, then I do encourage you to go to my YouTube channel later. Um, um, my YouTube channel is Psychic Protection Sanctuary. So you just go to YouTube, type it in the search bar, Psychic Protection Sanctuary, and be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications when I upload videos. And I always upload at least two videos per month. So it's not a crazy amount of videos every day uh, or uh, that kind of thing like some people do, but, um, but it's steady. I, you can always count on me to be uploading free content. That's all that I have time for because I have a really busy schedule, so. Okay. I think that's it for announcements. Let's do shout outs. There we go. <laughs> so let me say hi to everybody and then we're going to get to our content. Again, today's topic is spiritual warfare of the mind. And some of you are probably wondering, like, what the heck does that even mean? What is she going to talk about? I don't even know what she's going to talk about. Well, um, so grab your pen and paper and we're going to go over it in just a minute. Okay. So let me say hi to everybody. And um, it's one of those cloudy days. We don't have a lot of cloudy days here in Tucson, but it's cloudy. And I've got a bit of, of mind, um, I have a little bit of uh, mind cloudiness right now too. I don't know if you can notice, uh, but I'm here. I'm still here uh, no matter what. Feeling good, feeling happy, happy to be sharing this information with you guys. So bear with me if I have a little bit of brain fog today. <laughs> uh, I probably need to get out and go for a walk or something. Um, sleepy, cloudy day. Jeannie is saying hi from Piper, Kansas. Stephanie, hello from Tennessee. Oh yeah, she's traveling right now. Cool. Corey, hi from Barrington, Kansas. Tony, hello from Tucson. Yeah. Um, hi, Robert Branch. Hello there. Uh, Brian, plenty of glitches in the matrix. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, he, I see the rest of the comment. Plenty of glitches in the matrix here, depending on what is normal. Yep, that's right. So in, um, in this group, this free group, Psychic Protection Sanctuary Facebook group, most of the focus of my topics, we don't really go down, go off the deep end in fringe content. I stay pretty much in line with helping you understand how to manage your energies, what to do if you're under any kind of psychic attack or you're dealing with some weird energies in your world, um, and also understanding how all of that stuff works, okay? But then getting into the nuts and bolts of like how the procedures of how to protect yourself, how to clear, how to do clearings and all of that, that's in the paid program, Spiritual Empowerment Academy. You can find that on my website, psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. Okay, let's jump into class. I have no idea what time it is. All right, we're right on schedule. Okay. Today's topic is spiritual warfare of the mind, aka the spiritual mind virus. Now, for frame of reference, those of you watching this further in the future, this is 
August 2020, and we are in the middle of the COVID-19 coronavirus situation. Everything's pretty crazy right now. Um, and so I want to just be really clear about a couple of things. Well, so as you can imagine, I didn't really want to use the word virus in my uh, video title because that could create some confusion. And one of the areas of confusion is that I've seen some spiritual teachers posting things where they are saying that the virus, the COVID-19 virus is not real, that the only thing that's happening is a mind virus, a false belief. And I want to be really clear that that is not what we are talking about here. I actually believe that COVID-19 is actually real. It is in the 3D reality and it's not just all in our minds. So I want to be 100%, 1000% clear that um, that's not what I'm, that alternate uh, definition is not what I'm talking about when I talk about the spiritual mind virus. But it does very much, this, this spiritual warfare of the mind, it does very much apply to things that are happening right now. Um, so just bear with me. So this video is not about like saying that COVID-19 is not real and that it's just a mind virus. That is not what this video is about. This video is about um, uh, spiritual warfare methods that are used against our minds, not just during this current pandemic, but it's a thing. It's a global issue all the time. This has been going on for a long time, not just in current times. Okay. So today I'm going to teach you about two aspects of this. And from here on out, I am going to refer to it as a mind virus. And now that you know what I'm not talking about. <laughs> so now I'm going to explain what I am talking about. So I'm going to teach you about two aspects of this, the collective mind virus. So that's a group phenomenon. And then after that, I'm going to talk to you about the individual mind virus uh, phenomenon. Okay. I think we have a couple of comments here. Tana says, I love that you always give the date. So helpful. Yeah. Well, as I don't always give the date, but when we're going through some significant world events, I think that context is really important. Um, so definitely. Okay, so again, bear with me that I sometimes glance at my notes. There's a lot that I wanna uh, cover and not leave anything out. So collective mind virus. Um, again, to re reiterate, this is not just an issue that's going on in current times. Um, I want to point out that a couple of months ago, I did a video that was called three, the number three, three types of global psychic attacks, three types of global psychic attacks. So that material and that video, um, there's a little bit of overlap into what I'm going to talk about today. So if you find this topic interesting, then... Um, after this, go ahead and watch that. Three types of global psychic attacks. So the collective mind virus, how this mind virus, uh, think of it as a spiritual phenomenon and energy that's affecting groups of people. It could be a workplace. It could be a neighborhood. It could be a city. It could be a state. It could be a region. It could be the whole globe of it could be all of humanity that's being affected. Um, how does this negative energy um, affect people? It affects them by causing anger, rage, despair, confusion, overwhelm, hopelessness, anxiety, depression, and feelings of violence, to name just a few. Now, Remember, this is a negative energy that's being targeted toward people. Uh, but at the same time, all of those emotions that I just listed are all normal parts of being human. So those are all normal human responses. 
Uh, like for example, right now during the COVID-19 situation, most people on some level are experiencing a normal trauma response. Things are scary right now. People are experiencing a normal grieving response for uh, things that are lost, both small and large things that are lost due to this situation. There's stress, there's worry and fear about what's going to happen. Like all of that is normal. Those are all very normal human responses. And we need to remember that uh, that those are normal and that we can honor those. Anytime we have fear or anxiety or confusion or anything like that, we don't need to immediately jump to, oh, I'm under psychic attack. You could think, oh, I'm just being a normal human. These are normal human responses. Um, this is part of the human condition. But also simultaneously true is that there is being this energy blasted into onto the planet and this is being activated on a global scale this is um by a global psychic attack just like the video that i mentioned called three types of global psychic attacks um and so this is happening right now but remember it's not just now that this has been happening it's been going on you know it goes in waves um i've noticed periods of time when there's like some kind of global event that happens where like collectively everybody is kind of insane for a while <laughs> like and you could probably agree right now that you try to have a conversation with somebody and like people uh, people go insane like people are just insane right now um, and I don't mean any offense toward anybody, because actually a lot of that is not coming from the normal human condition. It's coming from this blast of psychic attack that's hitting that's hitting everybody uh, collectively. Think of it as like a frequency, an energetic frequency, or think of it as like a, a sound, a sound frequency, sound waves. Uh, that are like hitting everybody. Um, you know, you've probably been to a loud concert before where you, you can feel the sound like vibrating into your body. Or maybe you've been to a crystal bowl concert, uh, where, which is a positive thing, where they're playing this beautiful music and the vibrations of the crystal bowls are moving through you. So that's a positive example. Uh, but how I see it clairvoyantly, this collective psychic attack, is that it really does look kind of like sound waves to me. How it's like this frequency that's being directed toward, uh, toward people and certain um, areas on the globe. And right now it's really happening in a very large global way. But there's also certain areas that are being more heavily targeted. Um, the mind virus, so when it hits a collective of people, it comes into each individual's energy field and it integrates, it goes into the mind, it goes into the body, but also, and then it affects how the person's feeling and how they're responding to the world. But also then this mind virus is passed from person to person. So that person is being very affected by the mind virus phenomenon. They interact with somebody at the gas station or online or at work or at home or whatever, and they blah all over onto the <laughs> other person and they pass that mind virus onto them. Remember, I'm not talking about passing COVID. This, this video is not about COVID, but it applies to this time. Okay. So we're talking about spiritual warfare and we're talking about this energy that that it is passed uh from person to person through um you know people just like sorry if this is gross but like projectile vomiting their anger at, and frustrations at other people and then it passes that mind virus the person who receives that goes ah and then they and then that mind virus affects them and then it just keeps affecting the collective even more now, where is this coming from? I haven't really 
talked about, like, I've said, okay, there's this, this negative attack coming. Okay, where, from where, from where? So, um, this is actually coming from what I, what I refer to as the dark forces. Um, I use that term generally, or I use it as a general term that's non-religious, so I'm not using a specific religious terminology on purpose, because I want this, I want it to be worded in such a way that everybody, no matter what your uh, religious or spiritual practices may or may not be, hopefully you can understand that there is a collective of various different non-physical spiritual beings that are also involved with our planet. Uh, they are not all demons. There's some people who are like, everything is demonic, demonic, demonic. No, there's a lot more beings than just demons. I don't know, this video isn't really about going through all the different kinds of negative beings. But that's why I use the term um, dark forces or negative forces um, as, a, as a collective idea because they all tend to work together in some ways. Um, and so why do they, why, why would they be initiating like a global psychic attack, a collective mind virus like this? Um, and remember that this is going on all the time to some degree and it, it, it goes in cycles where this mind virus is like really getting blasted on, onto the planet and other times where it's a little bit better and things feel peaceful. But why are they doing this? Um, and the, the simplest way that I could put this is that negative beings feed off of the energy of suffering. So um, when we're talking about even individuals, um, like what I talk about in my video, three types of global psychic attacks, um, even when we're talking about individuals who are being attacked, being psychically attacked, spiritual warfare, um, even in those scenarios, the idea is to activate any, any suffering, physical suffering, emotional suffering, and to feed off of that energy, okay? So imagine that this is happening on a global scale. So there's just more food, more loosh. It's called loosh. All that negative uh, energy, the anger, the uh, um, negative excitement, the anxiety, all of that, it's being fed off of. Um, also, uh, there's something else that I didn't mention and that a part of this mind virus is that, um, uh, polarized extremist thinking is encouraged by the dark forces. So they try to get everybody to like think way over here or way over here and not be able to meet in the middle. And it keeps everybody in this tug of war. And if, if one person lets the rope go, then the tug of war can be done, but everybody holds on until their hands are bleeding. Like, no, my extremist way is right. No, my extremist way is right. And it's like this mind virus makes it so that people can't even see that there are nuances that like various things can be true at the same time. This mind virus does tend to blind people. Now, I want to emphasize this is not people's fault. I mean, yes, we're responsible for how we are responding, but also uh, a lot of people are completely unaware that they're being impacted on purpose by negative energies. They don't realize that a lot of the thoughts and feelings and impulses that they're, they're having are not actually their own. It's a broad frequency that's being broadcast to them. So, also, one reason why this is easy to accomplish, uh, why this is easy for the dark forces to accomplish, is that it's very easy for them to match up vibrationally to send this frequency to things that already exist within us. So if we're already feeling fearful, which is a normal response, remember, uh, these are scary times. And so if someone's feeling fearful or hopeless or they're feeling, having feelings of rage or what have you, that if there's even just little seeds of that, 
then this global, this mind virus comes along and basically takes that seed of the normal, healthy human emotions that you might be having and like explodes those. Okay. All right. So this does happen to all of us. So I'm not saying that I'm immune to it. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you know, I've had a couple of times where I've been like, that's it. I've had it. Everybody's driving me crazy. Um, and it happens to all of us. Um, and more so if we're tired, if we're ungrounded, or if we're overworked, or if we're experiencing adverse circumstances of any kind. Um, it's easier to get overcome by that mind virus. By the way, I've been wanting to talk about this mind virus for a couple of months. <laughs> and I was going to just get on and do an, a pre-recorded audio because um, it's like, hey, I want everybody to understand because, um, you know, spending time on social media, spending time on Facebook and seeing what was happening with everybody and how extremist everybody um, was being. And like as a clairvoyant and a clairsentient and a clairaudient myself, clair claircognizant, it's been so easy for me to see that like what's happening is like I can see the mind virus. I can see it. And it's like I want people to know that this is what's happening because when you have an awareness, um, it doesn't necessarily make you feel um, like perfectly wonderful instantly because the situation, life situations are still hard. But once you have that awareness that there's this outside energy affecting you, you, you can go, oh, and then you can step away, disengage from it and get your own energy realigned again, right? Uh, but when people are unaware, then that energy is controlling them. That mind virus is, con is in control. It's in control of their words and their behaviors. And um, again, there's no blaming or shaming about that. It's just something that happens when we're experiencing adverse circumstances, when we're tired, when we're ungrounded, when we're overworked, etc. So that's why it's really important to get enough rest, to eat balanced food. Like if you're eating, um, you know, a whole bunch of sugar, if you're like stress eating and then your blood sugar is like going wonky, that's going to affect your moods too. That's going to make it easier for the spiritual mind virus to have an effect. So take good care of yourself. And also I think it's going to be important to just give people some free, or, you know, try to give some people some free passes right now during this COVID circumstance because this mind virus is like, I've never seen it go on. I've never seen a cycle so strong and go on for so long. I've seen really extreme cycles happen, uh, but they'll last for a few weeks, maybe a month. And this is going on for months. Everybody is basically insane right now. <laughs> so on some level, we may choose to give some people some free passes and understand that they're not uh, in their right mind right now um, because this time is scary and they're having real human emotions coming up, but also because this global spiritual warfare is really intense. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to allow yourself to be verbally abused in any way. You can unfollow people or, you know, block or do whatever you need to do to take good care of yourself. But on some level, just understand that um, it's not all coming from them. Okay. Um, all right. We've got a couple of comments and then I'm going to talk to you about the individual mind virus, which um, is kind of, a, I mean, it's similar, but it does operate in a different way than the collective. So uh, I think you'll find it very interesting. So let me get a drink from my kitty mug. These are my two cats. That's Vashti and Kitesh is in spirit now. That's why I bought this mug. I was like, oh my God, those are my two cats. Maybe this is what my next cat will look like. I don't know. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a cat lady who only has one cat now. Okay, let's look at comments, and then we're going to get into individual mind virus. 
Okay, Jennifer says, I know this is a serious topic, but the analogy you used made me giggle. Yeah, <laughs> I think she's talking about the projectile vomiting. Yeah, I know that's really gross, but sometimes that's the best way to describe it. Uh, she used a throwing up emoji, so I think that's what she's talking about. Yeah, I mean, this is a serious topic, but also I'm sure, I'm sure you all know that um, sometimes when we're dealing with serious stuff, one coping mechanism is laughter and just make making light of situations that doesn't mean that we're not taking things seriously but um, like for example I've been trying to post at least a few jokes every week on my social media uh, because we all need some jokes right now um, and at the same time yes all of this stuff going on is really real so it's good to laugh um, Jennifer says, I've found people are experiencing severe confusion. That's been my personal experience as well. Yeah, lots and lots of confusion. Um, for sure. I agree. Okay, let's talk about the individual mind virus. Um, you know, the collective mind virus that I just described is very applicable to right now what's going on with you know, pretty much ever, everybody, like globally. The individual mind virus is a different thing. And um, so like mentally, <laughs> mentally, I want you to kind of like take that first concept of the collective mind, mind virus and just kind of like put it over here. Say, okay, that's one thing. And now we're gonna be focusing on um, the kinds of scenarios when somebody is under a personal psychic attack. So we're not talking about the global issues right now, we're talking about a personal psychic attack, an individual who is experiencing some kind of spiritual warfare. So um, this is when there has been some kind of black magic or psychic attack or um, curse, that sort of thing, sent to the person in order to make the person believe that they are being spiritually attacked or that entities are attacking them or that they have severely bad luck or that they are cursed. Now this is a little bit tricky to describe so just bear with me. So the mind virus is when this, this like, um, um, energy is unleashed. Actually, usually how I see it clairvoyantly is it is in their brain. It's, it, it's this attack that is sent into the person's brain and it causes them to see, feel, hear paranormal activity, entities, demons attacking them, uh, or to interpret things in their world as though, oh my gosh, I'm cursed. Uh, I have all this bad luck or I'm under all of this psychic attack but it's not real. So uh, this is a phenomenon that I see a lot. I would say maybe with all the, pe the people that I, all the clients that I work with and st uh, students that I work with who are under various kinds of psychic attack, um, I would say one in 10, rather than having actual entity attachments, they have a mind virus, about one in 10, so fairly common. About one in 10, um, they have uh, this virus that is affecting their brain, again, making them see things, um, feel things, hear things that actually aren't really there. So that the, uh, the idea is to keep the person chasing their tail and fending off and fighting off all of this stuff that isn't there. Um, I made a note earlier. I made a note. I wrote down illusion, mental warfare, illusion, mental warfare. So that's not to say that some, that nothing is happening. So I would not tell somebody, Oh, it's all in your head. It's not real because it is real. The person is under attack, but it is um, a mind virus. So the attack is 
that something was sent to mess with their mind. So that is real. That's real. What they're seeing and feeling and experiencing and all this stuff that they're trying to fend off is illusion. And it's a uh, mind game. Okay? And it's like one great big mind F. Okay? <laughs> That's what it is. Um, I do see some people who are under this kind of attack that that's the primary way that they're being attacked. But there's another phenomenon that I see where the person might be under full on actual psychic attack. There's entities involved, there's stuff flying through their house or like whatever. Um, and they're having nightmares, they're having uh, feelings of oppression, they're having all these symptoms of psychic attack because it is actually they are under attack there's actual spiritual warfare happening and then um, and then I do the clearing okay so I cl I do the clearing for them or I clear their house I clear it all out and clairvoyantly I can see it's 100% clear but then sometimes what will happen is that clearing will activate what some people call a booby trap where once we clear the actual problems out, a booby trap is unleashed. And a lot of times the booby trap is a mind virus. The mind virus starts like playing in the person's head and saying, uh, oh my God, the entity is still here. The entity is still here. The entity is still here. And, I'll, and they'll message me and, I'll, and I'll like, okay, they're having an emergency. I'll check right away. I, I look, I'm like, no, the entity has been fully removed, is off the planet completely. Like, it's not even, the, it's, it's not even anywhere near that person. Um, but what I can see when I look at the client is there's all this mind virus that was unleashed. Um, and so in that sense, um, it's important to know what a mind virus is so that... Um, a person can fight that mental warfare because they say because they'll be able to say okay actually that's not real this is a this is mental warfare this is an illusion and this is a lie um and then so the next step for me is to then clear clear the the mind virus as well um and over the years um i've definitely become more familiar with those mind virus booby traps so that's something that I check for now um, and I I warn people of that when we do a really significant significant clearing I will explain to them that um, you know if they have anything come up they should message me right away and I will check um, because sometimes stuff does try to come back and that ha you know that sometimes does happen um, but I explain the mind virus issue to them um, ahead of time so they'll know uh, that sometimes there's mind virus issues sometimes the entity is like all the way off planet but it's trying to communicate with the person telepathically to get them even though it's not present it'll be like still trying to mess with them by messing with their mind so it is a mental mental spiritual warfare uh, let me take a look at my notes and see if I've left anything out Okay, so we're talking about the individual mind virus uh, is to uh, make a person believe that they are under attack by entities or that there are multiple implants or interferences happening in their body, but it's actually, all of that is illusion. It's actually a mind virus that's playing out a movie, so to speak, making the person believe that they're under attack. And I, um, I see in my notes, I don't think I explained why. Why is this done? So the idea is, again, to keep the person chasing their tail, to keep, to keep them so distracted that they are not actually doing their mission, whatever their soul mission is. They're so busy constantly clearing out psychic attack that they're, it's taking them away from what they're supposed to be focusing on. Another reason uh, that this can occur is that uh, the idea is to drain the person's life force and to put them into fear. <clears throat> but again, coming back to it's to keep them from 
um, doing their mission. Okay, let's see what else. What else did I leave out? Okay, I just want to, I don't normally read to you guys, but I want to read this just to be super clear because uh, I know sometimes it can be tricky to explain this my individual mind virus phenomenon. So this is different than a standard actual psychic attack, which includes mental warfare as a part of it. So I'm going to break away from my notes and say, in a standard psychic attack, a person might have one or more entities or black magic affecting them, some kind of negative interference that is actually happening and also is messing with their mind. So it's all, it's all of that. That's, the sta that's a standard psychic attack is where it's affecting the person's mind and there is actual real stuff happening in their field or in their home. Um, on the contrary, in a mind virus situation, often the virus initiates the belief that one is being attacked, and that is the attack itself. Okay? <laughs> is that clear as mud? Does that make sense? You guys, give me a thumbs up if that makes sense, or if something doesn't make sense, let me know. So in a mind virus attack... There's no actual entities connected to you or in your house or and there's no actual like curse that's still in effect. I maybe it never was in effect or it's already been cleared. Like none of, like there is no there's no issues with that. It's just this mind virus gets implanted and it's like this whole belief of like oh my gosh all this stuff is happening, right? And it's illusion, it's not even there. All right. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this in a video is because, again, I have about one in 10 clients who have had this kind of issue. And it's really helpful to me when I have a video on something and then um, we're talking, I can say, oh, let me let me just send you this video because uh, it'll explain it. Um, because I want to make the most out of our session time and not, not be spending the whole time teaching. Uh, we want to get to clearing and stuff. Um, thank you for the thumbs up, uh, thumbs ups, or whatever you want to call it. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, do we have any questions? We're going to wrap this up in just a minute. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts, whatever, go ahead and, ex and um, chime in right now. I'm going to give you a couple of tips. These are pretty, um, uh, these are pretty common sense tips, but I'm just going to remind you of what you already know. With the collective mind virus and with the individual mind virus, number one, stay aware. When you know that this mind virus thing is happening, then that helps it lose a lot of its control over you. Number two, breathe. And sometimes you have to step away from interactions with people. Just breathe, step away. Number three, make sure that you meditate, that you sit in silence, that you're not always go, 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 go all the time. The more ungrounded you are, the more this stuff will affect you. So meditate, ground, have some time in quiet meditation. And lastly, uh, clear your energy, unplug from the collective, do some cord cutting, uh, you know, breathe and meditate on unplugging from the global fear and just put yourself in your own bubble of your own energy. That's going to help you to um, not be so connected with the global energies. Uh, the more connected you are in with the global energies, the more chance that virus is passing on to you. So, yes, it's important for us to be connected and to be connected uh, with supportive and loving energies, but disconnect from the global energies of fear so that all you're dealing with is your own fear, your own sorrow, your own overwhelm, all of those normal human emotions, and it's not being magnified times a billion <laughs> by all of the other people on the planet. So once you can contain your own, um, contain yourself in your own healing chamber, 
your own auric field, then that's going to help you stay. Mm, it's going to help you have uh, a stronger spiritual immune system, so to speak, against the virus. Okay, I don't see any more comments, but let me just double check. Hang on, you guys. Okay, we don't have any other comments. I'm just going to make a quick announcement, and it's that um, in an hour, a little more than an hour and a half, I'm teaching a class for my Psychic Protection Insiders program. That is $12.99 a month, so super cheap, and there's one Facebook Live class that's about 90 minutes every month on the first Monday. And tonight we're going to talk about glitches in the matrix, deja vus, alternate realities, etc. That is not a group where you learn how to protect yourself. It's more of a fun group, usually fun. Not always. Sometimes our topics are super intense, but uh, it's where we get into fringe content, fringe paranormal, um, a little bit of conspiracy theories. Um, and we are not, by the way, speaking of conspiracy theories, we're not talking tonight about COVID conspiracy theories, so you can, you know, breathe a breath of relief over that. We're talking about glitches in the matrix, deja vus, alternate realities, and all of that um, fringe paranormal stuff in tonight's class. So if you're interested in that, go to, psych go to www.psychicprotectionsanctuary.com. Click on the events tab, and you can take a look at what that is. It's a pretty basic group. But just interesting, if you want to sign up for something with me, that's a, a good way to go. Um, and it is a monthly, it's an ongoing monthly subscription. Okay, this was fun, you guys. If you ever have any questions for me about this uh, mind virus issue, then you know where to find me. Uh, if you're watching this replay video somewhere online, you can actually email me by going to my website, psychicprotectionsanctuary.com and click on contact if you have any questions. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can just post your comment right in there. Thanks for joining everybody and I look forward to seeing you in next month's free Facebook Live class. Bye!